My name's Heidi James and I'm here at Kingston studying for my PhD in creative writing. If I were to recommend Kingston, it would be, for creative writing in particular, it would be because there is the incredible amount of support you get. You are in a creative community and that's very clear to you from the moment you start. You're not isolated and alone and of course writing is a very um, solipsistic practice really so it's very important I think to have those connections with other writers so that support I think is useful for you as a person but also as a writer so there's that's a, that's key but also just the incredible variety of activities that go on here the different things you can get involved in and there are opportunities to read to have your work published here you can really test what you're doing and where you're going and I think those things are fundamental I chose to come to Kingston um, for a very specific reason, and I think that was really due to the absolute commitment to the creative process and the combination of that with the intellectual inquiry and academic rigour that's particular about Kingston University. It's not just a creative writing course, but it's also about your academic research too. And I thought that was very important for me and what I was trying to achieve. Here as well, there's a, such a great range of staff that are teaching various different genres. So if you're coming to study for, or want to write a detective novel, there's someone here to help you. If you want to write traditional literature, there's someone here to help you. Or for me, if you're writing more experimental forms, again, there's the support. So it ticked all my boxes. My PhD uh, is a combination of both an academic and research Part, which is around about 20,000 words, which has been surprisingly enjoyable, and also a novel, consists of a novel too, so creative and uh, research. So it's been really interesting to combine the research and the practice itself. What I've tried to do with my PhD is to ensure that the practical and the theoretical combine, so in a way that it's not that the theory sits on top or is carried by the practice, so that they intermesh and interweave and very much interact with one another. So the boundaries are loosened, as it were, they're sort of more permeable. So the research directly feeds into what I'm attempting in my creative practice. So that it's a self-fulfilling, self-fueling process, I hope. Research is absolutely fundamental to your creative practice. It's certainly helped me as a writer. It's inspired me in so many ways that I would never thought possible just by using my usual creative practices. It's completely pushed me in another direction. It's fantastic actually, that combination. What I really enjoy here at Kingston besides my academic work and my creative practice is the incredible range of extracurricular activities that go on. There are seminars, um, talks given, various lectures. I've had the real, the luck to meet with journalists, um, philosophers, Agamben's coming here to speak, so it's fantastic. It's not just a narrow niche of creative writing. It's so wide, the scope, it's fantastic. So it's helped me as a person as well as just in my little field. When I finish my PhD and I'm no longer a student, which I'm not looking forward to, um, I'm hoping that I will continue with my academic career. I've been very lucky, very lucky, that I've been supported here at Kingston and I've had lots of, or been given some teaching experience. I'm hoping that I'll continue with an academic career and continue to publish. I'm already a writer, so I'm hoping that that goes from strength to strength. And uh, I um, started writing, I've been interested in words since I was around about three. I remember very specifically hearing my grandmother and my aunt, who are of Italian extraction, having a conversation and I remember being very, very aware that they were not saying what was really going on. And this love of words and how our world is structured by the words we use was, was started then really. So I've always written and been very interested in writing. Um, I was a ballet dancer and um, but went on to be an actress. Um, but continued to write and I had a huge role offered to me that would have changed my life and I turned it down because I knew I would never be taken seriously as a writer. It would be soap star writes sexy novel. It wasn't going to happen. So I turned that down and 
knew absolutely that writing was what I was doing for the rest of my life. And so, luckily for me, I've had lots of wonderful opportunities and um, have got my works, you know, it's going well, going very well. Um, my first novel is currently being made into a film. Um, uh, it's been translated into various languages, so I'm very lucky.